Hi everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Explained Series with the host Dr. Brett Palmer. And today we're going to be talking about a paper I have published, which is uh, this paper here, uh, which is uh, the chickenpox vaccine in a patient with recurrent genital herpes. Um, and I'm very happy about it. I'll leave a link uh, to, the, um, to this paper uh, in the description below. And it is uh, just a case report, so it is... Uh, not a, an important uh, paper, not by a long shot, uh, but uh, I'm doing a case controlled study where I'm taking uh, a group of individuals. All of those individuals have herpes, okay? A proportion of that group um, have symptoms of herpes and uh, another uh, large section of that group uh, don't have any symptoms at all, but they're still carrying the herpes virus. And what I'm doing is I'm comparing the difference of these two groups of chicken pox antibody. And so this paper is one of those patients that took part and she had a very profound um, herpes outbreaks, one outbreak every every month, an outbreak after outbreak after outbreak. Uh, and so she found this, she found my case control study very interesting. And obviously the end result of the case study will, would want to ask the question, does uh, improving your antibody titer um, decrease the symptoms of, the, her of uh, the herpes you're experiencing. And so she went off and she got the chicken pox uh, vaccine um, and her symptoms reduced. And so and they went from uh, once a month uh, to touch wood, no symptoms so far. So she managed to push herself from the uh, symptomatic group to the asymptomatic group uh, with the use of a chickenpox uh, vaccine. So does this uh, count as proof uh, that the chickenpox vaccine works against herpes? Uh, the answer to that is no, it does not. It could be a fluke. She could have gained natural immunity at the same time as um, uh, getting uh, the vaccine. Um, and so would I advise anyone to go out there and get the chickenpox vaccine to treat their herpes? No, I would not. And it might seem a little bit strange because you probably think, well, why wouldn't you? Um, uh, and that is because uh, it doesn't constitute as, uh, this doesn't constitute as any proof. And so I'm still building up the evidence and investigating to see um, if uh, uh, the chickenpox uh, vaccine and the chickenpox antibody uh, titer has any impact um, or any association, first of all, um, to uh, symptomatic or asymptomatic herpes. Generally, there's two types of vaccines. There are vaccines that uh, are called sterilizing vaccines, and they stop a virus from getting into your body, and so it doesn't cause any uh, problems at all. And there are uh, uh, other types of vaccines that are immune modulating, uh, and so they prepare your immune system uh, for the virus that is going to come because you can't stop it. And so uh, COVID vaccine is a, a vaccine that was an immune modulator uh, vaccine, if you like, because it prepared your immune system for the virus that's going to come. Either way, uh, I don't think um, any vaccine that tries to um, stop or protect you from herpes is going to work um, because um, of the way human herpes viruses uh, interact with the immune system and I, and I think um, sterilizing vaccines won't work at all. However, if any of new vaccines are coming out which are, uh, are there to only prepare your immune system, then hey, uh, then that will definitely work. Uh, and so whether the chickenpox vaccine will head to a functional cure or not, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so follow me and subscribe because uh, I will always uh, do a quick uh, review of any papers I managed to publish. And if there are any good papers that come out um, uh, on uh, vaccine trials or anything else, I will always give them a shout out on this uh, channel uh, when I hear about them. So I hope you found uh, that study interesting. Uh, link below. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.